Hey, how's everybody doing? Chris here. So this is the new project uh, to maximize my solar panel arrangement here in my backyard. I'm going to take this pergola extension which has 1,200 watts of solar panels down and also the 600 watt array over there. So these are going to get combined into one big array over here and I'll get in here closer and I'll show you what's going on. But today's effort was putting in three stockade posts, 14 gauge, digging the holes, 24 inches down. We'll get up, we'll get up there really close. And of course getting the concrete back here with my little wagon. And I just got done and just thought I'd throw up a video and show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this big thing here I built last year was still very close to the house. So it gets a lot of shading in the morning, especially in the summertime when that sun angle is really high. So after that tree, you know, after the November storms, cut that tree down, and that is the almost perfect place for solar panels in this backyard in suburbia. So what I'm going to do is this one, this whole thing's down, I'll just trim this, you know, hex or uh, chop saw it down and break up the concrete. That's, that's not too bad. But I measured everything out and I'm going to reuse these wood 4x6's and I'm going to put extensions a little bit higher up. I also bought a, a 10 foot uh, 2 and 3 8 inch pole uh, fence post and that's where that stick's going to go. So it's going to be, just imagine it up a little bit higher. Now here's the cool thing. I wanted to make sure that you see the angle here. That angle is eh, not that great. But what I designed this to do is there's going to be a 30 inch walkway in front of the low part of the solar panel. Okay, So it's going to be like right here and it's going to go up. Right. And these are going to get twisted this way, so it's going to be long ways, right? Um, I'm going to be spending a fortune in Super Strut, but it's going to be strong. Super Strut's going to go up and across, made up with that, and then there'll be another section that goes up this way to made up with the top of it. And then I'll run Super Struts, four of them, across so I can use those spring clamps and clamp everything down. It's going to be really, really slick when it's done. Um, this corner is going to be essentially one big array. And it's going to get sun all year. And that's what I like about this corner is that, well, you can see there's a cloud there, but um, <clears throat> this is springtime angles almost. And in the winter time, the sun is more over there, but I'll still have it. The bottom of the solar panel will still be um, exposed to the sun, which is going to be really cool. But the good thing is I only had to dig four holes. I did three today down here, okay? And I got the fourth one to do there, but I can't do that until I get the... Um, the panels down and while and this is what this is another cool part check this out when I get ready to build the cage or the racking system I'm going to take these six panels down and tie them in to that array over there so I won't lose any power <laughs> while I'm while I'm constructing this uh, erector set um, corner array system so that's what's really cool got this kind of all figured out and a lot of the the uh, thick super strut and hardware is going to get reused which is another cost um, helps with the cost and stuff so but yeah there will be a lot of super strut um, on here but it'll be really really stout really really stout so it's just going to be essentially a cradle system 
we have right here, and then attach it up this way, and then run them across. So, 18 solar panels will be on this array, 1,800 watts when it's all said and done. And this extension will be gone too, so I'll have a lot more footprint in the in the backyard here. So, all right, just wanted to show you what's on the agenda. Uh, oh yeah, let me get in here real close and I'll show you. Uh, this is the stockade post. Really, 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 really good stuff. 14 gauge. Went down 24 inches. Uh, used a lot of grout this time on these. And I also filled them with grout. Got my red funnel and got the 5 gallon bucket about half full. And it's all filled with uh, high PSI. It's the stuff that they use for making garage floors. You know, in your garage, it's really, really high PSI. And it takes about three to four weeks to get it at its strongest. Uh, but I can work with it in about a week and a half, two weeks to get it, um, you know, where I can drill through it and attach everything. But, so these things are actually have a dual purpose. They're going to have, I already got the clamps, I already bought the clamps at Home Depot to attach to the fence. It's going to protect the fence and also support the, the, uh, the structure. So, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. You know, I thought I wanted a tilter. <laughs> uh, it was a good idea, but thankfully I can reuse a lot of this hardware and, and uh, the big super strut stuff. So, all right. Hey, thanks for watching. This is, this is actually uh, the main array. This will be the main array, and it, get, it gets sun all year round, all day. So, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Later.